So I was like, I gotta shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's Yo, okay. Honestly, my fault, bro. I, nigga, I was, see, I was. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, don't you play with sticks <laughs> and stones, he said. <laughs> I was about to connect this to a breakup that happened this week, man, but y'all are stupid. What breakup happened this week? Put me nah, on, man. It's just like, I don't know. It's summertime, so niggas is breaking up. Yeah. <laughs> niggas is breaking up. That's true. And it's sad. And the, when I first heard about this breakup, I text Reggie. He did. Because I'm not too invested in it. Okay. But Reggie, she is invested in these two gentlemen. So, okay. Reggie, I will allow you to tell the impact of this Desus and Mero breakup. I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it yet. <laughs> but okay, so <laughs> okay, I've been though. Bodega Hive since 2016, way before they went corporate, way before they... Oh my gosh. Um, so they started off as two dudes from the Bronx who just knew of each other. They met on Twitter back when Twitter was Twitter. And then just long story short, I could be here for hours talking about everything that they've done, but they really <laughs> have ascended from just two dudes yes. just kicking it on Twitter yeah. to now they have like a, well, now it's ending, but like they have a Showtime show. They've <clears> interviewed <throat> Diddy, Obama, all their heroes, Denzel everybody, Washington. every AOC. Denzel Washington. And yeah. every time you watch an interview of theirs, it's like, it's like they're doing like, it's not an interview. It's like chopping it up. Yeah. And it was announced. Well, rumors started swirling beforehand that there was like some beef. And I was like, there's no way. But then finally the press statement came out and they were like, the Showtime show is getting canceled. Jesus Damn. Are, are fi and it wasn't just a show getting canceled. They were like, they are separating. So wow. I don't know. Like people were like, oh, Reggie, like what do you think happened? I mm -hmm. really don't know. I didn't see this coming. People saw it so, coming. I didn't see it coming. So but I love them so much. Are you going to take a side? Huh? <coughs> on who you support and who you like, I can't. I mean, draw away from. Look at the I, internet. Are, are you drawn to one <laughs> more than other? No, that's no, the no. internet. Because there's always like in the breakup, you kind of got to you. You I relate mean, to one right more now, than the other naturally. Right now, uh -huh. it'll be impossible to because I don't even know what happened. Okay. I'm just thinking they've been working together for over a decade, and I just I kept I keep telling people this is my only response. I'm like, if you've been working together for that long, I can't imagine no conflict. Mm -hmm. So I guess it just brewed over a while, and mm -hmm. just it just. A lot of stuff um, snowballed. I'm just assuming that's what happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was something that actually happened that was like, damn, like this was dirty. Let's separate. If it was that, I would like to know what happened so I could take a side. Okay. But if it was just like a normal, you know, we've been working together for so long, mm -hmm. a normal breakup, then I, I can't take sides. I love, I, I love them so much. Like just watching them mm -hmm. succeed has really done so much. For, not for like... Just not like just 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 people who are in that same circumstance and they show that it could really happen. Mm -hmm. So I just really I just hope they're okay. Yeah. Actually, I really hope they're okay. Like yeah. that's the first thing. See, I first heard about them uh, when I used to work at the homeless shelter. I used to like binge watch content because I was just sitting at a desk for the most most part of my day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so I would always just look for new shit. Like, all right, how is this in my radius? Why is the algorithm like telling me to listen to these guys? Who the fuck are they? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know. I knew them from Twitter, but I never really. Um, entrench myself with their content until I started working and I sat down and I kind of got a chance to like get familiar with them mm -hmm. and a little bit of their story and I know like they have like a legit almost like a cult following yes yeah, right? they like, got like, yeah, like it's, it's a like... real thing and so um, yesterday when the internet went ablaze talking about this breakup it made me think about all of the other content hubs in a short amount of time in podcasting that have dissolved right mm -hmm. um, so obviously we got them I actually wrote down a list um, Damn, a list of people that broke up. Yeah, a list of podcasts mm -hmm. that have broken up. And what? shit, we even had a transition on this podcast, and we're on the fucking list too, on, on, on whatever list I got. What? What? So, Jesus and Mero, No, right? I'm just saying, like, there's a, somebody compiled a list no, of... I, no, no not somebody. Oh, 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 say yeah. Slater, the Slater, the journalist. Because he's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I ain't got no time. Yeah, you know what Sorry, the podcast nigga. Sorry. So, Jesus and Mero, they broke up. Okay. Um, obviously the Joe Budden podcast, the original crew, they wow. broke up a few yeah. times. Um, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nah, that, nigga, that nigga Joe be breaking shit. Yeah, uh, he breaks things. Um, I Am Athlete, they broke oh, up into wow. two different podcasts. They started that. as one and now it's The Pivot and I Am Athlete. Um, million dollars worth of game. A lot of people don't realize that uh, oh, yeah, Gilly and Wallow, they were more of a commentary podcast before they started diving into interviews. Yeah. And they had more of a collective approach to their podcast before it was just them two. Right. They broke up, essentially, with their crew. Oh. Uh, wow. We got Call Her Daddy podcast. I remember that. Anybody familiar with that? Yeah. That Barstool. was a big thing with yeah. Barstool. Yeah. Those two ladies, they broke up. Mm -hmm. See the thing is podcast. They did a few yeah. episodes. That's right. They broke up. So yeah. uh, I just named a couple. You know what I'm saying? I I tried to get different um radiuses or different categories, genres of podcasts too, mm -hmm. to just give the example of like, all right. Why does this happen? Right. Again, Alex, maybe you and I can speak to it a little bit since we did have essentially have a yeah. fucking breakup of a podcast, right. like a different version of a podcast. Yeah. Um, 
But I don't know. It, it, it's it's kind of weird because we're in this space of like podcasting is so new, but it seems to be a trend where, all right, you're not really a podcast <laughs> right? In, until you break up. <laughs> well, I guess. Crazy. That's crazy. Please don't make that a thing, y'all. Yeah, don't. Um, this is my third podcast. <laughs> is it? Uh, Think about it, yeah. I mean, the, oh, the people don't know. Yeah, it's Maybe. my third podcast. Wait, what? I, well, I thought it would be a second. Third. I won't tell you the name of the first one. You don't got you were, to. You what were happened? You had a podcast before us? Early. I didn't know that. It was so early. So I'm the only newbie here. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. So what was it like for you? Being a person that kind of was, I, I would assume, on the outs of it for the most part, right? You left that Maybe podcast, or uh, it was it was way, it was so much more much deeper than that. And in in me thinking about why the reasons why I my podcast dissolved is making me think about Jesus and Mary. I'm like, yo, I'm telling y'all, when it comes to shit internally, there could be so many reasons why you have to step away from a podcast. Like, and I think about um, just with them, I think about their pro- thought process. I'm like, okay, obviously, if I'm quitting, if I'm Jesus and Mary, and I'm saying we're done here, I'm severing off so much money that it has to be worth it, right? So for me to make the move, I have to literally make myself uncomfortable in order to separate us. And that must be outweighing you know, staying. Mm-hmm. So in my head, I just say, oh, it's deeper than rap. Like, right. this has got to be yeah, way deeper. Yeah, it wasn't deeper. just the show that got canceled because of ratings or what. They were like, yo, as a duo, we're not We're doing done. This. And I just want to point out, they've been working together for since oh, before 2013, like very long, over a decade. So it's yeah. like, if you, like to be a duo for that long, that's a lot. That's a like, lot. that's your whole, mm-hmm. like, I can't go anywhere without freaking yeah. Miro. Like, See? you know, yeah. so maybe... That was a reason, and if that's the reason, I'm not mad. Like that's the best absolutely. for you. They're getting like, older, like you know. So yeah, it, I absolutely. wish that's the reason because that's not that's not as bad. That's just human nature. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just ho- I just hope there's no beef. I don't know, but but yeah. we don't know what happened over there. That can I'm, be I'm not I'm not too familiar with the guys. Um, <clears throat> like again, over the years I've seen them. Yeah, we aware. I've, I wasn't um <clears throat> a, a part of the hive. You feel me? I never <laughs> really listened to the stuff. But they look like you know two dudes from New York that. Uh, had some that worked, yeah, with the for the both of them, yeah. So I guess to kind of answer Savon's uh, kind of underlying question on this topic is like, you know, what what kind of happens? And again, I don't know these guys. I could be wrong. Like Devon said, there could be so many other reasons. So many reasons. I do think that it comes down to a uh, difference in lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see that. Um, a lot of the time, see when you when you create these podcasts, everyone is usually on the same page mm-hmm. in terms of like the projector, trajectory, trajectory yeah. where yeah. they want it to go. How they want their hive to grow, right? And it kind of looked like they got past that, right? Like right. they got the hive, they got the followings, they got the deal, right? And then that's when, like, again, just from the outside looking in, right? That's when lifestyle changes can be uh, injected, yeah, and start to change the way you think, right? Yeah. Again, I'm not too familiar with these guys. I heard Mero has a couple kids. He has right? four kids, four kids, and a wife, and a wife. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, I heard uh, Desus is single. <clears throat> yeah. No kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, I don't know these guys, but. For for a brother, I hear that. I hear, oh, it makes sense to me. Two different people. Okay. <laughs> I hear two different people who right. probably at a time were very similar, even when Meryl yeah. had a couple kids. When they were like both striving for this thing. Right. Yeah. But right. now that they made it, it's now like, they made it's like okay. It's yeah. like, okay, so okay. where do we land now, right. with yeah. all of these newfound opportunities, right. newfound fame? Right. You know, a guy, again, when you're single, you feel like you want to do anything. That's true. You I, feel like you can do anything. I, I'm a, right? I, I'll open up and I'll say something yeah. that I never said out loud <laughs> to anyone. No one really knows this. If you're a futuristic and Devon Terrell fan, then this is going to be Christmas. So for me... A lot of times, I, I, I met, me and Futuristic and I had a very successful project. Right. Ext- beyond successful. Really, did really right? well. A very successful yeah. run. People right? still talk about it. To this day. Right. Like a legendary kind of moment on the internet. Mm-hmm. Like we were a duo and we did music together and things of that nature. What developed soon after that was when we would go to label meetings because everybody wanted, I had a, we had a lot of labels courting us. They wanted us together. <clears throat> and so it made me look at him. It made him look at me, and we both were like, it's not really what we want. Like, you know what I mean? Are we going to be a duo? Like, yeah. It's like, uh-huh. this was a one-off. We didn't expect it to do that, you know, crazy, but mm-hmm. what's happening now? I feel like the world was trying to be like, you guys just strictly, just straight up belong together. And we were, we both had really, really intense personalities. We were very strong people individually, right. and we had strong ideas about music, like, yeah. separate. And so that's when him and I decided, all right, let's just completely sever this thing right down the middle. 
and get away from each as Even far break. away from each other oh. as as so possible. You, are, oh. you don't stay associated forever with you know. Yeah. Him. So me, him, and I are very careful with our brands crossing. Now right, right, we're right. very careful because that. That would that was such an immense like fucking explosion mm. that it it hasn't left us. We can go on my live right see, now, see. and they'll be like, "Where is he? Where is he?" And it'll be, seven years later, you'll still have people. Yo, you are futuristic. You are futuristic. You and he gets so, the same thing. So, do you feel like you maybe missed the opportunity and not capitalizing on something that was so impactful to people? No, no. Can I tell you why? Of course, because Absolutely. there's some things that are more important to me as uh -huh. far as what I want to mm -hmm. put out there as far as my art is concerned. Right. So it's like. That was great. That was a moment. Mm -hmm. right. You can have that. I'm gonna go Maybe I'm gonna go make ten more. I, I want. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go do By something. Myself, yeah. I'm gonna go do yeah. some. As I, I have Vontaro, to. Yeah, yeah I have yeah. to continue doing what I want to do as an artist. And then maybe we can circle back. Oh yeah, me and him. Me and him talk about it all the time. We always say, bro, we circle back. It is a uh, fucking it's up and it's over. Stuck. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And it's Reunion nice to know. Tour. <laughs> it's true. It's nice to know <laughs> that I have that in my pocket. That me and him yeah, have yeah, that in pocket. We like, yo, one day. Hopefully, we we talked about it. I'm saying too much already, but like one day I, we'll pull that trigger on the shit and stuff right. like that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. in relation to the DJ Samira, I'm just saying some insight as far as like, right. hey, sometimes when you feel like this is where I want to take my brand, right. and mm -hmm. oh, this I is where you want to take your yeah, brand, it's like, that. oh, we have to sever it because yeah. there's no way we walk into a room. Line. But you, I think it comes down to that. I guess one of the reasons why I don't agree with that is because we work as a collective, right? Uh -huh. Sure. All of us are very different in what it is that we do. Right. Although um, Alex and Dev, y'all are in music. Mm -hmm. You're an artist. He's a producer. Right. 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 Reggie, her and I are somewhat in media. Mm -hmm. She's a journalist and... I don't know what the fuck I do. Everything. You I, do, were I, do HBO, I do a little please. bit of everything. I do a little bit of everything. Yeah, you hear me? But, <laughs> please sing like back. Um, <laughs> but we're we're very different outside of this podcast sure. and what it is that we bring into this pot, right? Right. And we all make it work. Mm -hmm. And each and every week we have amazing things happening for us. Uh -huh. There's a new update. There's a new conversation. There's right. a new brand. There's a new partner. Right. There's something new every day where right. it's like, all right, we're gonna be forced to be together at some point right but when we're not we're still our individual selves sure right. you get what i'm saying like sure. so sure maybe and again mm -hmm. we're all speculating on this Jesus and metal thing yeah, sure no. it could be it's a, a, a brand thing good conversation yeah, great, no matter what yeah for yeah. sure it, it could be a brand thing but i also think like sometimes it, it could be almost a personality thing it's like key and peel Okay. I wasn't too big of a Key and Peele fan, but I knew they were synonymous. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Get Out came out. Right. And uh, Peele. Was it Peele? Was it Peele? Was it Peele? I don't know. It's, it's, it's Peele. Uh, Peele. Jordan, Jordan Peele. Peele. Jordan, Jordan Peele. Peele. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Peele, he kind of took off. And right. now he's this director. Right. And it's, it's, it's um, horror. And it's all these things that's so far removed from his original brand. Right. And from his counterpart right. that... It separates them in a different type of way. You know what I'm sure. saying? Yes. It, it, it wasn't like I, a breakup per yeah. se. Right. Yeah. It was just like, all right, let me do my game. exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. This is more like, all right, it's a breakup. It's over. Mm -hmm. Right. It almost feels Damn. like fuck him. Damn, something wasn't happening. But it doesn't. It, it, it really. I think, it, yeah. to, I mean, to answer my fault, Dev. No, no, to no. answer your question well, about us, I think what we do differently, bro, is that we're able to be whoever we want to be. I'm so sorry. Now you Gucci. You Gucci. Call by. Okay. <laughs> you cool. We're able to be who we are when we're around, right? And it's all comfortable. Mm -hmm. And when we leave, it's the same thing, right? Meaning, like, all right, Devon's brand is not affecting my brand mm -hmm. because we still find a way to meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. What need to know? Mm -hmm. right. I think when you really become bigger, uh -huh. like either one of the other person, some of the times can like mm -hmm. how you just brought up the Jordan Pitt. So now his brand can start to weigh out what the rest of it is mm -hmm. looking like for you, right? You feel what I'm saying? It and to piggyback off of what you're saying, this is why I think all good things come to an end. Because for me, and I, you know, y'all know I have a very cynical way of out viewing and looking at things, and I'm very honest, realistic. right? <gasps> I'm very realistic. Are you about like to talk the, about our breakup? At some <laughs> so I don't want to say that. Transition. Yo, my nigga, relax. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yo, yo, yo bring that energy over here, my nigga. Don't scare him, don't scare him. We just over here. Yo, I'm traumatized. I know. You know, I've been through breakups. I know, you've been through a lot of breakups. We just celebrated our one year anniversary. What I'm saying. And he's already talking about us parting ways. What I'm saying. Yo, Drew, cut this nigga's mic. And Rob, carry him out of his own studio. What I'm saying. Okay, yeah, what were you saying? What I am saying is that. In our growth as yeah. people, as people yeah, yeah. and in our time being taken from us or what we give our time to, I think about how all good things have to come to an end at of some course, point. 